Hi, Ijal Martins, licensed marriage and family therapist, a specialist in ADHD and relationship counseling. So in our last video, um, I talked a little bit about accommodation and enabling. And I mentioned that you can negotiate with your ADHD partners based on each of your strengths instead of weakness. So let's just face it. Your ADHD partner will never be as efficient, um, as fast, as good, as competent in doing certain tasks compared to you, especially planning an organization or anything attending to details or being very repetitive. So you may say, yay, yeah, what does it mean? I have to do everything for them. That is not fair. Well, let's talk about fairness. What does it mean for you? Does it mean everything needs to be split 50-50? Does it mean the time doesn't matter how much each of you contribute, but as long as you both chip in and you feel that they are there for you? Or does it mean you want the outcome to be the same? The quality of the work needs to be the same. If I can do this like this way, you need to do exactly the same way. So all of those statements reflect your values. I invite you to sit down and to talk about your values with your to-do list to negotiate who should be doing what, how often, for how long, and what's going to be like if it's being done in a certain way. So if you can sit down, which um, when you are in the very good mental space. That means you're not triggered, or you're not being angry or over emotional. You can tap into this part of your brain to really rational thinking about this matter and to solve this problem. And please prepare a list of to-do lists or household chores ahead of time so you can be ready for that. And after that, you can start to discuss your values. So what we mentioned earlier are Efficiency, which means um, how fast you can do this thing. Competency, which means how good you can do this thing. Willingness, well, are you happy to do it or you really don't want to do it? And also the percentage of time, which is like a quota. So let's take dishwashing as an example. I have a little chart here. So partner A and partner B. This is the competency. Partner A is a five of those five. So partner A is very good at doing dishes. And partner B is also five out of five. They can also do it very cleanly. W is willingness. Partner A is 100% willing to do dishes. Actually, they find it very satisfying when the dishes are clean. But partner B only have a one out of five. It's not, it's their least favorite chore to do. They really drag their feet. E is efficiency. So partner A is very fast in doing dishes. They can be done in fast five, 10 minutes. Well, partner B will take a longer time. So the last part is the percentage. You can decide how often does partner A do dishes and how often does partner B do. From this chart, maybe E will be more efficient if you really value efficiency and willingness. Partner A do 80% of the time, partner B do 20% do of the time. What does it mean? That means during the 20% of the time, both people have to be okay with partner B, drag their feet, maybe don't do it until the end of the day and take a long time, but eventually do a very good job. All the dishes got very clean. So both partners are happy with the outcome, the reality of this negotiation. Otherwise, you can adjust the percentage of the task each person takes. So this is just one of the examples. And you can find other tasks that actually you have different in willingness, efficiency, and competency. Um, more examples that I'm thinking about, like um, taking the trash out, taking the children to school, driving long distance, um, there are going to be tasks that partners with ADHD might be more willing to do, more competent, and more efficient. 
you just have to discover. And that's part of the process of knowing each other, who you are, where your strengths are, and how to optimize for your family. Till next time. Bye.